Hi, Alison Mead from Silicon Bullet here uh, with another top bookkeeping tip from my dog walk with Daisy. I'm just in a lovely little co copse in Southie Forest in Northamptonshire, walking my dog and thinking about what advice I can share with you today. So um, today I had a one-to-one -one with someone that I met through networking as they are using Zoho Books to do their bookkeeping at the moment. They then download a spreadsheet with all the figures in and send it to their accountant and their accountant does their tax return. They were thinking that they needed to have a more professional system in order to, when things go making tax digital, um, to be able to do their tax return directly that way. So my first piece of advice is, if you are using a piece of software like that, where you're keying everything in to get figures out and it could be downloaded into a spreadsheet, then for making tax digital at the moment, as long as you've got the tools available to get the spreadsheet into the accounting package, then that's perfectly acceptable. You don't need to change to an accounting package like Zero or Sage Business Cloud. Um, as long as what you're doing in an Excel spreadsheet or something else like that, that's still digital. And as long as you're not having to manipulate the figures in any way. So if you're not sure whether what you're doing is right, speak to the person that does your tax return for you and see what they suggest first. You don't want to go looking into and buying a new package because you think it's the right thing to do if the person who is doing your bookkeeping or the person who is submitting your tax return for you doesn't need you to. I'm a big advocate of the if it ain't broke, don't fix it mentality. So in this case, the client is going to go back to their accountant um, because at the moment as well, right now, Making Tax Digital is coming in for tax returns, but it's not in yet. So at the moment, you can still log in onto the HMRC website and fill the figures that you may have generated from a computer software system, but you can figure, put in your self-employment, your PAYA figures or whatever you need into the tax return. It's not all seamlessly digital at the moment. So... You don't need to do anything yet. Yes, it might be something you have to think about in the future, but if you've got a package or an Excel spreadsheet and you're getting the figures out that you need out of it at the moment, then that's fine. If you're not actually getting enough information out of your figures and you're wanting to keep a better eye on your invoicing, on what you're invoicing, on what your system's doing, on what your expenses are and the system you're doing isn't, doing that for you then that's a different thing entirely but don't think about changing your bookkeeping package at the moment purely purely for making tax digital for tax returns slightly different if you're VAT registered you really want a system that's compatible and compliant uh, for doing your VAT returns and things because it just makes life so much simpler so uh, my top tip for today is if you think your bookkeeping might not be quite what you need it to be for a reason, either arrange a session with me for a little chat, which is what I did for someone today to put their mind at rest, or go and speak to the person that either helps you with your bookkeeping or helps with your doing your tax return for you. Because um, it might well be if it ain't broke, you don't need to fix it. So I am Alison Mead from Silicon Bullet. You can find me on LinkedIn. You can find the Silicon Bullet page on Facebook. You can find a podcast that's called Bookkeeping Basics uh, that's on all your favourite podcast providers. Um, thank you to Gary Jones from Grow for helping me to do that podcast. And you can also go to blog.siliconbullet.com and find lots of little snippets of advice to help you if you're a business owner doing your own bookkeeping or if you are a book smart bookkeeper that's never done small business books before and you're just feeling a bit alone and you need a bit of help. Come and have a word with me. Thanks. Bye.